Oh dear, it is still hot in this closet. It is still summertime and I'm not wearing a shirt right now. Welcome back to Thomas and Friends Home Media Re Reviews, everybody. How are you guys doing? This week we're taking a look at Start Your Engines. <clears throat> I just drank the last of my water. That's nice. No, there was still a little drop in there. All right, now it's gone. I almost flipped that. Damn it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump right into the history section of Start Your Engines. This heat is getting to me. Oh my gosh. The so Start Your Engines was released on Digital HD on February 16th, 2016. And it was released onto physical media on March 1st of 2016. Also, interestingly enough, when this was originally released, you could find this in a two-pack exclusively at Walmart with up, up, and away of all releases because racing and stupid, retarded storytelling really go well together. Walmart has the weirdest two-packs. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the close-up section of Start Your Engine. <music> Alrighty, everyone, here's your close-up look at Start Your Engines. Thomas Friends logo over top of the Start Your Engines logo. I really like this logo. It's very nice. Got signals at Knapford Junction. Thomas on the front there looking really red-faced because he's racing and such. He's going, yo. He's like, look, I'm the Flash. It's Philip next to him. There's, um, there's James up on a hill. I... I really like this poster, actually. It's really, um, engaging. On the side, Hit Entertainment logo, Thomas Friends logo, Start Your Engines. Same picture of Thomas on the front, DVD logo, and the Universal logo down there at the bottom. High Speed Railway Adventure. Got a UPC code there, peeking out through the slipcover. Blurb, Thomas and James at some sort of celebration. I guess maybe one of them won a race something but everybody's a winner in this day and age is we can't have any losers because if we have losers then people will be sad and when people are sad that's not okay even though that's a natural part of life and the liberals don't understand that bonus features include race with you and go go thomas those are two music videos as well as on a journey with you it's also a song and guess who puzzles guess who puzzles are back if we haven't seen them in the last couple of weeks then they're back here because they haven't been listed on any release prior to this except for i believe uh whale of a tail was the last one that had guess who puzzles listed on it or no i'm sorry it was wild water rescue that just came to my head it was wild water rescue that had uh, guess who puzzles listed on it last copyright information linked to thomas friend's website down below take out the slip cover as per usual it is embossed so it's nice same poster underneath, same side. Mine's a little off center. I haven't taken the time to fix it. Back is exactly the same, except now you just have text specs and stuff down at the bottom where you didn't have that on the original slipcover. Open this up. Wow, we actually have something in here this time. It's just subscribe and save up to 50% on the Thomas and Friends uh, magazine, which I'm not gonna do, because I'm not five. Here's your disc. It is a squished up version of the poster art, and I know I railed on Tales on the Rails last week because it didn't have a sheen on it. This one does have a sheen. It is kind of nice. It doesn't feel like it was really cheaply made, but this one doesn't feel all that better quality. I mean, it's got a sheen on it, definitely. It's just, you can still feel where the piece of paper was glued onto the disc. I mean, you can really feel it. So that's your close-up. Let's go ahead and transition into the menu tour for Start Your Engines. All right, boys and girls, here's your menu tour for Start Your Engines. The natural light's almost gone, but don't worry. The TV shows up fine on the camera, just not anything else. Episode selection. What episodes do we have? Two Wheels Good, Reds vs. Blues, just like Bloods vs. Crips. Uh, Slow Steven, the, the little engine who raced ahead. Best engine ever, aka pointless merchandise, and Philip to the rescue. Language selection. Do we have French? Do we have French? No, French is still not here. Oh well. 
Uh, maybe we won't see French ever again. Sorry, um, Eric Pierre and all of you who live over in France and Quebec and all that stuff. I guess we, uh, I guess you can't watch Thomas in French no more. That's, that is illegal now. Bonus features include Race With You and On A Journey Today, Go Go Thomas. Those are all music songs, music songs. That's, that's right. And Guess Who Puzzles. So the Driver Perkins segment is gone. That's sad. I actually kind of liked those. That's, that was actually kind of a cool, like, bonus feature. But now they're gone, as were the games. I actually kind of miss those games, though, because these menu tours have been really short and really basic these last couple weeks. But there hasn't been much to talk about. I mean, am I supposed to analyze this picture? Thomas is going fast. Philip is also going fast. James is presumably also going fast. Done. Picture analyzed. So anyway, let's go ahead and head on back and answer the five main questions, as always. Alright, sir, so back from the close-up, and now it's time to answer the five main questions, as always. Before we do that, my Wi-Fi went out. That's great. Number one, where should you pick this product up? I almost forgot the question there, and I had a stroke at the same time. You can't find this in stores. I've not seen this in stores in forever. Uh, that two-pack from Walmart, you're probably not going to find that new. So, uh, yeah, online retailers. My Wi-Fi is still out. What is going on? I don't understand. Number two, is this product still being printed nowadays? No, it is not. Number three, where should you pick this product up? I like start your engines. I like racing. I'm a huge cars fan. I love watching things race for hours and hours. And honestly, I was a fan of the racing gimmick back in 2016. I really liked it. I thought it was cool. I also really like all the stories on here. Uh, two wheels good. Kind of an ironic statement about, you know, Mr. Perk. Mr. Perkins, not Mr. Perkins, Mr. Percival and his bicycle, uh, basically saying that hipsters are cool, which they're not, so that episode is a liar. Reds versus Blues, I really like that story as well. That's fun with the Thomas and James rivalry. Slow Steven, that's a cool one as well. Really builds on uh, Steven's character and shows that, hey, not everybody has to be fast. Some people can be slow. Uh, oh, oh. The most controversial episode on this release. This release is the one that features the introduction of Philip, a character that you either love or hate. Philip is basically the embodiment of The Last Jedi in the Thomas and Friends uh, fandom, at least until Journey Beyond Sodor hits. That's its own beast. But Philip, I like Philip. Sue me. I like Philip a lot, actually. I think he's cool. I think he's one of the strongest new characters introduced he's naive he's young but he has room to grow and i really like the little engine who raced ahead i think it's a fun story and uh gordon gets humiliated that's always fun best engine ever spawned a really stupid piece of merchandise that appeared on screen for five seconds if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about wooden railway streamlined emily which uh is a uh, multi-green thunder's favorite item right buddy you love that one and philip to the rescue I think that's a good sequel to The Little Engine Who Raced Ahead. I think all these stories are good. I don't think any of them are fantastic, but they are really good. They're solidly entertaining, and that is all I need from Thomas. I don't need to be questioning the logic or anything if I'm having a fun time while watching it. So yeah, I recommend Start Your Engines. I don't need a coin this week, and you all t tell me whether or not I recommend it or not. Uh, I'm totally on board with Start Your Engines. I recommend it. Number four, where should you pick this product up? Same answers as number one. And number five, what price should you pay? Slip-covered version, 10 to 15, regular version, 5. If you can find it in that two-pack new and sealed, that's actually worth probably a considerable amount, even though it includes up, up, and away, but, you know, it has that little Walmart sticker on it, and people pay big bucks for that, so I'd say like 20 or 25 if you could find that new. Just don't open it. That's pristine. That's a collector's item. Okay, update on the Wi-Fi. It's still out, and I don't know what's going on. What am I going to do after I'm finished here? I was going to watch Punisher tonight, but I can't. I have to stream that using Wi-Fi. If I don't have Wi-Fi, what am I supposed to do? Someone leave a suggestion in the comments. That is the HMR for Start Your Engines. Again, this release is very fun. I enjoy this one. I don't think it's anything fantastic, and I don't think it's anything, you know, harmful. It will not give you stage 4 bowel cancer while you watch it which is great. Anything that doesn't give you cancer while you watch it is a win in my eyes. Next week, oh boy, one of, I don't know how to say this, I'm trying to build, I'm trying to build anticipation up for this. 
Let's be for real, though. You all already know what's next week. You've already checked the timeline. The Great Race is next week. I honestly don't want to say it's one of the most controversial Thomas specials in history because Journey Beyond Sodor kind of took that throne and has not, and it has not fallen off of that, even with Big World Big Adventures coming out. It's almost as controversial as Journey Beyond Sodor, but I feel like they're both in their own like category. They're both equally as controversial, but The Great Race was controversial when that came out as well. Because a lot of people loved it, and a lot of people hated it. Like, really hated it. And then there were some people who just jumped on the bandwagon of either hating it or loving it, not really forming their own opinions on it. Which, honestly, those people really make me mad. Like, come on, watch the movie for yourself and formulate your own opinion. Don't just follow, you know, Unlucky Tug's review or something like that. He was the most prominent uh, community member who made a video about that. Uh, when the, when the great race came out. So don't just follow him, create your own. This has been a PSA from uncle Lego lover. The great race HMR is next week. I wonder if it will be as long as the other HMRs that have dealt with specials. They've all been at least 20 minutes long. So expect a big one for this. Interestingly, this is one of the, uh, Thomas films I've done a review for. I've done a movie review of this one. I will link that in the description down below so if you all want to see my thoughts when the movie first came out you can watch that to gear up for the hmr next week have my thoughts changed though you'll find out next week i've said next week way too often i've also dragged out this ending way too long my wi-fi is still out this closet is still hot thank you all for watching and as always good night everybody and i am still not wearing a shirt